Good morning. It's Friday, August 2nd. Yes. And we are on our way to Saint Chapelle, the beautiful medieval stained glass chapel. Uh, it's about a five minute walk from our hotel. So we're heading over there. We got some tickets and we're going to do a little touristy stuff. Okay, we are in the visitor's entrance of Saint Chapelle. Um, and it's, this is just the visitor's entrance. It's pretty amazing. All right, I am in the beautiful Saint Chapelle with the incredible 15 stained glass windows. Uh, the chapel dates back to the 1200s and they say 70% of the windows are original. It's just amazing. Um, there's a lot of people here. I'm trying not to get... Anyway, I'll just keep going around. It's just so, so beautiful. And the vaulting. I hope I'm not making you dizzy. Going down. And yeah, there's quite a few people here. All right, we are out on the outside sort of portico of Saint Chapelle. Um, it's surrounded by um, French, French, uh, uh, what am I trying to think? Government buildings. So to bring the scooter in, we had to go through a special security line uh, and they like, they gave us the once over for sure. We are on the bus um, heading to Gare de Montparnasse train station to pick up the accessible shuttle. Um, the buses are awesome. They all have wheelchair ramps, um, the automatic wheelchair ramps that come out. So it's really easy for us to take the bus. Another day of adventure. Oh. We have made it to the train station. This is the accessible shuttle. So they're strapping in Chip's um, scooter right now. And next stop is the soccer stadium to cheer on the United States men. Yay! We have made it to the Parc de Prince uh, stadium where we will play Morocco. Um, there's a ton of Moroccan fans here, so. <laughs> oh, anyway, uh, they're supposed to be a really good team, but you know, go USA. I am in the stadium in my seat. So this is my view. And Chip and my son are buy one wheelchair and one companion seat so any other tickets will be you'll be sitting somewhere else but I'm fine this is awesome and we're playing Morocco and they're really really good so it's kind of exciting that the US even made it this far and there is the Ida Karimi mascot yeah, I don't know what my, what my camera is doing. Anyway, it's like it's like one of those hats that you, oh, there's another person. It's like one of those hats that they used to wear back in the day with the three, with the two corners on the top. I don't know. Alright, the Moroccan fans are here to play. Moroccan fans, like I said, they're here for it and they're loud. They're cheering on their team. And it's a corner kick. Oh, the soccer game's over. We lost. Bum, bum, bum. 
so we are, this is a, a little bar that's really close to our um, hotel. So we have a dinner cruise tonight, but we stopped for a little aperitif. Oh my gosh, so again, I talk about traveling glitches. Um, we are on a dinner cruise. <laughs> Stephen is drinking his bubbly. Chip is drinking his bubbly. There is everybody back there. Uh, we had quite the adventure um, getting on the boat. Because of all the road closures, we could not, um, we couldn't go down the ramp. So it's a very long story. Chip just brought his walker. The boat took off at 8.30. We got on the boat at 8.31, but they did wait for us. And then they moved us to this amazing table. We're right up front. We have the best view of this on the set. So more later, after we drink more bubbly. All right, we have our starters. I have foie gras of duck. Stephen has carpaccio. Chip opted for the foie gras. He's getting his picture taken, and here we are going by Notre Dame. So life is good. All right, so we are on the top side of the boat. Uh, yeah. It is stunning. It is stunning. Steven, turn around. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, sun's going down. There's Notre Dame in the distance. Holy cow. Beautiful. All right, we are going under the palm trees on the bridge from Ile de Saint-Louis over to the, oh, I don't know what a rondesmont that is. The Marais. So, yes. Le Marais. And dinner has arrived. Uh, and it turns out we all made the choice to get the duck breast. So I think it's going to be good. So we are continuing on our dinner cruise. And look at all the people on the bridge. Not sure. They're just hanging out. It's a beautiful evening. It is the really one of the best evenings I've ever spent in Paris, just in terms of in the summer, in terms of the weather. It's just gorgeous. Well, this is the shot, right? <laughs> the Eiffel Tower with the Olympic rings. But when we come back, I bet it'll be sparkling. Oh, it's sparkling! Oh my gosh! This is like, this is magical! And here is a lot of people on our dinner cruise who came up to watch the uh, Eiffel Tower sparkle. Um, they actually, I, I'm positive that they timed it for 10 o'clock. And did you know that there is another Statue of Liberty besides New York? And there she is. She's sitting in the middle of the set. All right, there is Lady Liberty right beside the Eiffel Tower. Well, not right beside, but... Anyway, it's the same Lady Liberty that we have in New York City. She's beautiful. Um, we are coming back to our hotel from our dinner cruise. It's 11.30 at night, and you would never know it. The streets are crowded, there's people in the cafes. It's crazy. I love it, but we're going to bed. <laughs> 